And continuing our team coverage tonight on the shooting in Austin, KSLA News 12's Tracy Clemens is live in Shreveport with a look at what local universities are doing to keep their students safe. Uh, Aaron, though today's uh, shooting was six hours away, it was felt right here at, at LSU Shreveport and at other campuses throughout the Arklatex. And of course, the big question out of all of this is what's to stop it from happening right here? And the unfortunate answer is not much. Students at LSUS were shocked to hear about this morning shooting at the University of Texas, but most say they feel safe on their campus. It does concern me just because it could happen anywhere. Like we haven't had anything like super big around here, but it does happen and it's definitely something that we all need to know about and definitely be prepared for. I'm not really worried about it happening here because overall I do feel safe, but what, make, what I wonder about more is what would make someone do that. Joe DeWoody has a few questions about the Texas incident. How did that person get access to enter a building with a gun? How did they conceal the gun? And was there any security at the door? Chief of LSUS Police Rebecca Childs says law enforcement cannot check every person that comes onto campus because of the Fourth Amendment, meaning prevention is nearly impossible. Once that has been set in motion, the, the main thing you can do is respond, respond quickly, notify people um, to get as many people out of harm's way as you can. At Centenary College, Chief Zeke All says they teach freshmen at orientation what to do in case of a shooting. We tell them what they're to do, where they're to go, shelter in place, lockdown, whatever that may be. Centenary also has a web video that all students can view. It's an active shooter video and it just tells the students, okay, this is what's going on during an active shooter situation. This is how the police officers are going to respond to you. Lots of things in place in case the worst happens, but with the hope that it's never needed. Now, both schools have text and email alerts that uh, students, faculty, and staff can all sign up for. And our Rebecca Childs here at LSU Shreveport uh, says it's vital for people if they see someone acting suspicious uh, or if they see someone with maybe a bulge in their book bag or in their, uh, in their clothes that doesn't look right to call police immediately uh, so they can respond quickly. Uh, live at LSUS, Tracy Clements, KSLA News 12.